we here at Cloudcraft sell thousands of boats um, and hundreds and hundreds of Sawyer oars. You know, I say well, thousands of Sawyer oars over the years, and and uh, we've kind of picked out our favorite ones right here that we tend to carry in stock. A couple of these are custom order, but um, they are awesome oars. Sawyer has, I would say, probably what 50 different combinations. Maybe I maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe even more with blade selections and. Uh, uh, Artist oars and uh, lightweight oars. I mean, they pretty much care, covered all the bases. You know, that's why we're happy with Sawyer and carry Sawyer here at our, our shop. So, yeah, this is just your uh, your entry level uh, Sawyer bulkhead oar. This is a tried and true oar. They've been around for a long time. This is becoming one of our standard boat packages. We go up to the the Sawyer square top with the carbon sleeve. This is with the the Dynalite shoal cut blade. These are available in every option with the blades. You can get them with the shoal cut blade, the Dynalite wide blade, which is what a lot of people prefer, but you have to order them that way. These are a one piece oar, so you, you can either pick and choose which blade you want. Probably one of our more popular oars too, we sell yep. style right here. Very popular here in, in the Northwest. Uh, over in Idaho, a lot of the guys in Idaho prefer the, the Sawyer X-Weave oar, which is the same square top, but with an X-Weave, has a little bit more, a little bit more flex to it and a harder bounce back is what the guys tell me. Uh, this comes with a mountain drift boat blade. These are made uh, specifically for clacker craft. These are the the artisan oars. These are the Sawyer Square Top artisan oars. They're a beautiful oar. They have a little sleeve in them with a this one. This particular one is a steel head uh, with a uh, Sawyer Dynalite blades. You get that either blade too. Yep. So. Those come with either blade. This is something more of us we would have to order with for our customers, but it's a great oar. So correct. And then if you're getting into the lightweight oar. The new thing, the last few years, a lot of guys are really liking the lightweight oar thing. Uh, Sawyer came out with the Sawyer Smoker Bandit. This is a fantastic oar. I mean, you can see the weight there. They weigh next to nothing. They have tons of power. They have a mild flex to them, and they're a floating oar. I really, really, really like this oar. There's different sizes. A lot of your, I guess, your more uh, older, even metal boats, aluminum boats, would run, uh, what, the 48-inch bottom boat. Yep. I think they'd run like an eight and a half, nine foot oar. Uh, but to our boat, so, um, for instance, this boat right behind us here is 18 foot clacker craft. It's the new style one. We kind of redesigned it, a little bit of higher sides on it. Um, even us, since we first designed this boat, there's some guys that will use nine and a half foot oars with it, some that use 10 foot oars. I guess it just depends on the person and how comfortable they are with the boat. Um, we kind of transitioned more to the nine and a half foot oars right now with those, this particular boat. So, um, on the clacker max, right? On the clacker max. Yeah, yeah, on the clacker max. Yep. So, but there is some people say, hey, the 10s are great and they like them. And so it's kind of, sometimes you get a boat in between where you're just going to have to try to figure it out. If our customers bought it, they just felt like the oars are a little long and they're hitting their knees, they go a little shorter with them and we'll just swap them out. So that's what happens a lot of times. If you're coming down hitting your knees, your oars are probably too long. If you're up here in your face rowing, you're probably a little too short. So, and some of that can be corrected too with, uh, if you are hitting your knees, let's say you already have a set of oars, um, you could get a raised oar lock. And get those up off your knees and that makes a big difference too so it, it, you just kind of got to play with it we have lots of discussions with people on the phone and uh, sometimes uh, uh, you, you just got to come by and see which one fits best on your boat so absolutely yeah especially you want to make sure especially you're gonna uh, buy a nice oar like this because these are a premium oar try to do your measurements correctly and uh, you know make sure because uh, these are fantastic oars you want to make sure that they roll right for your boat so I don't know you got anything to that, Dan. Yeah, just on our on our standard side grip boats, you know, the salmon steel like guide model, the fly fishing bench, the big eddy, those oars, they all come with nine foot six oars for our package. That's you know, we've ran the nines, the nine six rows the best. Uh, if you want to get into our low sided boats, the eddy, the low profile, and the skiff, those all come with nine foot oars. And uh, another thing too, you know, we kind of went by it, but some people might ask, well, you know, what's up with the square top? And as you can see this one, you know, it's it doesn't have that dimension. Obviously, it's a it's a composite oar there, but what this actually is doing is adding weight to the back end of the the oar here on the handle side. And I don't know exact weight. It, it's it's a mild counterbalance. So what it does, this mild counterbalance, basically it balances this oar out. It takes this oar the the weight that's up here will take the weight of the blade off in your hands, and so it makes it feel like a very very neutral weight. Which really it's a it's an awesome design. These are just fantastic oars. Most of these blades, if you're Dynalite blades and stuff, big water blade, they, they work great just about in every situation. They're kind of your tried and true design, a little wider blade, you know, move a little bit more water with. And then you also see these shoal cut styles, they call, they call these particular blades. Um, uh, there's two different ones here. This is kind of something we've 
exclusively done with our brand. Um, uh, they are called Mountain Drift Boat Ore. Uh, they're built for us by Sawyer. They're a great ore too. A um, little bit, a little bit wider, I would say, on these guys. Um, a lot of the guys use these oars for uh, crabbing and different types of uh, rowing, and they, they really like these. Um, this particular one here also is a great shallow water blade. You get a little more surface in the water with it. Uh, kind of maybe hard to tell, but this surface right here, you're gonna get a little more grab in shallower conditions. Um, so they're nice for that particular stuff, you know. Rowing versus this one, where you may not get it as much in the water because if it's shallow, you might only get that much in there. So it makes a, a slight difference. I mean, both these oars are gonna get you down the river and uh, work well for that situation. But this one might give you a little more advantage if you get out in the fall early, the water's still pretty low or summertime. Um, and you do a lot of that maybe, you may consider uh, a shortcut design. They're a nice oar. But either one of these would work for the situation. So just something, something a little different on them. So.